Hey, how's it going? Hey. Okay, guys, so it's usual to kind of split. Hey. The first portion will be live content, and you guys are on the second part, and we'll be body of it. Yeah, all good. Uh, to train the last, well, the last I trained last week in the in the Aviva against the twenties, and then trained all this week. So yeah, good to go. So, um, in terms of Murrayfield and Scotland, it's they played good few times down the years. We played Scotland a good few times down the years. Is this Scottish side as good as any you've ever played against? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, um, yeah, I would say it's definitely the best Scottish team I've played. Um, you know, I think some of the results show that. You know, beating England regularly, beating France a few times. You know, uh, obviously beating Wales as well recently. So they, they've they've had some big wins over the last uh, number of years, and they've been uh, building nicely. You know, they've they've brought in a lot of new players. Um, you know, over the, over the last couple of years as well, which have you know made their team stronger. So uh, yeah, it's definitely the best. Yeah. And they are also for a triple crown this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that we had to acknowledge because it's going to make for a very special atmosphere over there. I'm sure. Um, you know, it always isn't a special atmosphere, even if there was nothing on the line. But there's a you know a huge game now with with them going for triple crown and still in the championship, and um, us obviously in the championship and and uh, obviously wanting to try and win a triple crown ourselves. So it's uh, yeah, it's a massive game. Um, so it's great to great to be part of. Johnny, how's the mood in the camp? Um, no, we've been. I suppose we've been at a at a good level of intensity and training over the last um, however many weeks, six, six, seven weeks um, since we met up in, in Portugal. And uh, you know, it's it's about holding that rather than letting it dip. I think we've probably trained a little bit shorter, if anything, this week. You know, trying to make sure we're fresh and and ready to go. Um, you know, come Sunday. How did you find it in the stands? No, I wouldn't say I'm a good spectator. Uh, it was tough. It was tough to watch. You know, you want to be. There are the games you want to be playing in. You want to be involved, um, and also you want to be able to influence what's going on and, and be a part of it. And when you're stu sat in the stands, you've got you've got no influence. There's nothing you can do. Um, so it was tough watching it. But thankfully, the lads uh, got the, got it done and uh, five points more. And and you know exactly where we want to be. After that rest week. I suppose it's good to get a couple of players back, but you run the risk of losing a bit of momentum. Is that something you're caught, like, conscious of, or do you kind of take these next two weeks in isolation? Lose momentum from the break? From, from the first three bits. Kind of oh, yeah, well, we had a gap after the French game as well. Um, this, this is all factored in. It's nothing that we as players have to worry about. It's things that the management have to worry about. And, um, you know, we just have to turn up day to day and, and make sure we perform our best. That's our focus and no we wouldn't say that it's it's dipped off in any way. Sorry, you've been involved in France and in teams before and groups. Uh, do you get a sense of destiny about it when you've won two games in a row with a build like that? Um no it's obviously the the expectation maybe and the, the all the talk now becomes about that but for us it's the it's the next game. We have been very game by game focus and, and that's exactly what we're doing this week we're, we're taking this as another one off and um, the good thing about having the, the break that we just spoke about is that we've had two weeks to prepare um, you know the, the benefit of being in the Irish system is you, you have all your players at home you've got guys in camp last week um, and you, you have an extra little bit of time to prepare so um, you know it was good from that regard because this is a, is a huge game so the more preparation time you have the better Um, I would never say never because again you, you never know what life's going to show you. It's not my plan straight away. I don't think it would be right straight away if 
if offers did come in, it wouldn't be right for me to, to go in and coach with guys that I've played with for the last number of years. Or um, I certainly wouldn't want to jeopardise this year, you know, because if if, you, if they find out you're going in coaching them, the relationship changes straight away. So uh, no, I won't be doing it um, for the foreseeable future anyway. But like rugby is my passion. It's all I've known for whatever the last twenty years, uh, longer even since I was a kid and. Uh, I'll find it hard to step away from the game, but I, I think it's important to do it, uh, to step away, try another walk of life, and then we'll see what happens. What does that mean, Johnny? You'd like to have a new challenge, is it? Yeah, yeah, go go and uh, see if I can do something in the business world and uh, get involved there. So I've been doing a bit of work experience over the last two years, one day a week, and uh, so I'll go into that and, and uh, see, see how that goes, but it might not be for me. Yeah. Get the itch straight away. Come out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> Play for Mary's. Yourself and uh, Finn Russell, two of the best tens in the game, very different types of tens. How would you describe them as a player and how would you stop them this Sunday? Um, like as a as a player, he's been he's been great. Uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously got picked for Lions last year and then had a had a very good campaign this year. You know, it's it's amazing that he's sort of come back in the standard he has when he got left out in November, which is a testament to his you know character that uh, to be left out and then be brought back and then influence things so quickly. You know, it's a sign that he's that he's. Um, He's on top of, top of his form, really. Like, and how we stop him? Like, he's got a full bag of tricks. So we have to do it as a team. We need to be as connected as we've ever been. We need to, you know, know when to to go, know when to to hold off, know when to to pressurise him, otherwise to to re, you know retain him. Uh, so it's lots go into it. Like, it's not just uh, one or two people, or it's it's the whole team. A potential grand slam is what's constantly being talked about. I know you probably don't like being asked about that because you have two games to, to get there. But is it something in the back of your mind that you're, I don't know, as you get more experience as a player, you try to deal with differently? No, I think uh, since the start, like it's been, like every team comes into this competition wanting to win a Grand Slam, wanting to win a championship. And that's why it's so important to get off to a good start because it keeps everything alive. To, you know, I spoke about before the Wales game, if, if we lost, triple crown gone. Grand Slam gone, Championship. You're under pressure straight away, you know. So it's uh, every team goes in with those aspirations. We still have them in our grasp. Um, so yeah, we we obviously acknowledge and talk about it and make sure that we um, deal with the pressure that, that comes with with that. But it's, uh, it's a privileged position to be to be going for it. And Scotland going in as underdogs at home in Murrayfield. That lad a bit of an extra edge, you know. Well, we don't consider ourselves favourites, or we don't even talk about that. Like we, we think that it's going to be an incredibly tough game, like we spoke about already. The probably the best Scottish team of of all time. Well, maybe not of all time because there's teams, Scottish teams, that have gone on to you know won championships and stuff. But definitely the best Scottish team we've played against, um, probably since the Six Nations started. It's the best Scottish team. So, um, you know, it'll it'll be a really really tough game, and it'll probably be our toughest of the of the championship so far. Jenny, you, you're eight points off becoming the record point scorer in the Six Nations. Is that something that's, well, first of all, were you aware of that? And is that something on your mind? Um, yeah, it's 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 something that you have people that, that say it to you, or you see it on, I suppose, social media, or uh, Irish rugby tagged me in something today, which I wasn't too happy about. Uh, so it's. Um, yeah, you, you, it's there, like you know what I mean. But it, it, I don't think it's going to add any pressure to me or anything like that. It's, uh, it's not something I ever set out to do, or you know, um, I'd rather not score another point and win a championship, win a Grand Slam, than you know get the point, the points record. It doesn't, it doesn't be bother me, bother me too much. Um, if it comes, fantastic. But it's, if not, it's not, not something I'll do sleep over. So, what, what would it mean if you were to do that? I just explained it there, like it, it'll, it would be a bonus. Um, but like I said, it's not in my thoughts. It's in my thoughts are about making the team win. Uh, um, you know, if the right decisions to go to the corner and passing points, I'll do that for the team. You know, it's nothing. It's nothing really, like you know what I mean. Um, but like I said, if you, if you do it, it's an amazing 
mark to, to do and Ronan obviously had an amazing career and even just to be in the in that same conversation is, is enough for me. Take last one in this section, guys. Okay. Oh, can I ask one more? Just, just on your injury, can you maybe give us more information on that? You said Antonio landed on your, your groin. So can you maybe give a bit more detail on what the actual injury was? My groin. <laughs> See, he landed on my hip, yeah, and, and he hurt my groin. That was, I think, the most detail I've ever given about any injury. <laughs> no? Do you want more? The, ex the exact muscle? <laughs> no, we'll just switch into the emergency section now. Thanks, guys.